I can think about, there's interesting future possibility, for example, by controlling the avatar directly with brain signals, um, by having electrodes on the scalp, or maybe in the future implanted, where you would, um, maybe like in the movie Avatar, where you would have a, a direct transfer of information between the avatar, maybe in the simulated world, and your brain. Uh, that could be useful for paralyzed people, for example, that can't move to control the avatar, but just but the brain activity might, might get a virtual body. Um, um, or a robotic body in real reality, um, which they would own and control and feel like, you know, I can, I can move, I can walk, I have a real body. Uh, that's of course still science fiction, but it's not, you know, it could, ha it could definitely happen, maybe you know, in a couple of decades, if things, you know, work out well. Um, another direction is to try to understand more also about how the body can change the way you think about yourself and other people. But having a body also affects, yeah, your higher cognitive processes. For example, if I, um, if I have an empathy disorder, I'm, uh, you know, uh, my problem understanding people in a different group, if I could experience an, an illusion of being that other individual in a new context, experience how it is to walk in you know, that person's shoes, if you like, uh, that could change the way I, how I think about myself and how I think about other individuals. Mm -hmm.